Well, it's state lawmakers versus town councils. The South Carolina House voted cities and towns can't ban businesses from using plastic bags. Sounds like Surfside Beach, which recently did just that. That's where ABC 15's Madeline Montgomery is live for us tonight. Madeline, does this ban the ban? The ban stays soon when you're shopping or going out to eat in Surfside Beach. What you buy won't come in a plastic bag, but a South Carolina bill could stop that change from happening in other towns and cities. Surfside Beach is known for, well, it's beach, which is why town council voted unanimously to ban plastic bags from businesses to try to keep plastic off of the beach and out of the ocean. Our ocean, our beautiful ocean. You ever see the debris that washes up in there? It, it's killing us, people. Let's get it together. But today, the South Carolina House, including State Representative Russell Fry, who represents Surfside Beach, voted to ban banning plastic bags. The current ordinances that we've seen in the state of South Carolina that the towns or cities have passed don't actually address the problem. The problem is plastic bags on the beaches themselves in our waterways. Representative Fry also says he's against the ordinance because of the cost it creates for business owners having to replace plastic bags with paper ones. Not only is this uh, an added penalty on businesses, not only does it overregulate businesses, not only is it a hidden tax on consumers, but it doesn't actually address the problem. If it is going to be dictated to us by the town, then they should give us a tax break. But this vote doesn't mean Surfside Beach won't keep its new ordinance. Any municipality that, uh, that already has one of these ordinances in effect, they are grandfathered in um, essentially, and so it will not affect Surfside Beach or any other town that has already done this. If this community wants to come together and stop using plastic bags, then hooray for us. Surfside's ordinance will start in June. Live in Surfside Beach, Madeline Montgomery, ABC 15 News. Madeline, thank you so much. Now, the South Carolina State Senate still does have to vote on the ban of banning plastic bags for it to become a law. Of course, we will continue working for you as developments.